Sports. And our next guest is a five-time NBA All-Star, one of the best point guards of the 90s and early 2000s, Tim Hardaway Sr. What is up, Yo, Tim? Tim? Welcome to the Odd Couple, brother. Hey, appreciate it. How y'all doing, Chris and Rod? What's we going good, on, y'all? Man. We good. It's great to have you on. Now, look, let's talk about your man, your son, your seed. He is yeah. out there balling, Tim Hardaway Jr., averaging 24 and a half points for the Mavericks in this series. What advice do you give him? You were in some playoff wars with both the Warriors and the Heat. What advice do you give him in the postseason? I just tell him just go out there and play with confidence. Go out there and um, do what you know how to do. Um, um, you know, play um, to win the game. Um, concentrate on um, details. Pay attention to details. Pay attention to film. Pay attention to what you all need to do as a team to, um, to keep, stay in the games and win games. And um, and understand that, you know, playoffs is a different season. It's the second season where it's going to be tough. You know, it, the referee's not going to call to take fouls. They're going to come out and they're going to they're gonna make you earn your fouls. So you got to go out there and play hard and play the right way and just give your team confidence to go out there and play the way they're supposed to. Tim, let me ask mm-hmm. you, I mean, everybody likes to say Luka is the next Larry Bird, obviously, they were both white players, but well, who does Luca remind you of? Well, you know, um, Larry Bird, you know, he didn't dribble the ball the way Luca dribbled the ball, you know, and Larry Bird didn't play in, the, uh, in pro professional basketball until, you know, he got to the professional uh, NBA. Luca's been playing since he's been, yeah. th- you know, you know Luca been playing since he's been 13, 14, 15 against um, grown men in the, in the, um, in the pro leagues. And um, overseas, so you know, um, it's a difference. You know, he 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 was brought up in a different way, just like uh, in our era. Um, you know, if you looked at um, Larry Bird and where he grew up at, you know, he couldn't dribble. It was all rocks and gravel, so <laughs> he wasn't able to dribble. He was all, you know, it was all shooting, 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 shooting from every angle, shooting from you know everywhere where he can shoot from on that gravel, and it was just more catch and shoot for him. That's how come he was able to do what he was able to do. But uh, it's totally different. You know, you, you're looking at uh, Magic Johnson, looking at LeBron James, and, you know, Luca's looking at those guys and portraying, uh, uh, making his game like be like their game and um, go out there and control the tempo, control the pace of the game, um, you know, uh, lead his team in, in different aspects of the game and rebounding. And, and, and you know, it, it's hard to teach height. When you height, when you six nine and can do everything, rebound, assist, and score, you know that's in your favor. And um, so I, you know, I wouldn't put him in that category as Larry Bird. Cause Larry Bird wasn't a dribbler; he wasn't coming down for facil- facilitating offense like Luca was. But I mean, you know, Larry Bird was his type of type of guy, and, and Luca is his type of guy. Tim Hardaway, five time NBA All Star, joining the I Couple. And, Tim, one of the things that you were most known for was your handle, the killer crossover. That was your move. And I think Kyrie Irving has the best handle in the history of the NBA. Are you with me on that, or you think somebody else? No question. I mean, he has a string on the basketball. He has control of the basketball. I'm going to tell you, uh, his mentor, his brother, his guy that he grew up watching, Rod Strickland was the same way. You know, and and but Kyrie, he has a different handle to the basketball, but it's the same as Rod Strickland. If you watch Rod Strickland, he it, he very rarely, rarely got stripped of the basketball, rarely, and that's the way Kyrie is. And Kyrie, he's under control. He used both hands just like Rod Strickland, and Rod Strickland don't get enough credit for what right. he used to do in the NBA. Man, I mean, he was he was a, a fierce competitor, and a lot of people didn't like Garden Strick. Uh, because he will uh, he he will embarrass you with his he- ball handling skills himself. But uh, but I mean he right now you are right. He has the best ball handling skills in the history of the NBA, and he he goes any way he wants to go. You know the rules are different. If you can put your hand, well they carry your, your, all of them carrying you know, the ball. You, you oh, know, right. well, you know <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm I'm watching the game now, and Mark uh, uh, referee Mark he just called a carry on somebody, and that's rare. That's rare. Right. I see. I, I see Kevin Durant. Even though you know he's six eleven, six seven feet, I see Kevin Durant. He carries the ball all the time. 
all yep. the time. But you know, he I mean, I mean, how is he is he going to dribble? He's he's that tall, but but um, you know, they let, they let him do it, and it's to his advantage. Tim, let, let me ask you, you: You mentioned Kyrie earlier a little bit ago. Uh, the Nets team with those three offensive players. Have you ever seen uh, that kind of fire, firepower? At, and you know, on on a team. And then they have other guys who are shooters as well. Have you ever seen a team put together with those kind of guys who can shoot? No, not at all. They are very, very, very scary uh, with the trio that they have, Kevin Durant, uh, Kyrie Irving, James Harden. They are very, very scary. And then you got Harris and the other guys. Joe Harris had 22 in the first half. Yeah. Right, right. Hey, man, right. pure shooter just like my son. And they look for him. They look to get him the ball every time he's open because they know if he gets open, that that it, it makes it the, the court easy to, for them to get to where they want to get to because nobody's coming off Joe Harris. Nobody, and you shouldn't because if you're doing a passing the ball, that's like like writing a score, uh, uh, writing a point down. Right when he gets the ball, he's wide open. He's he very rarely misses a shot. So you know they they got a nucleus that go out there and play together. And they they scary, man. I, I was watching them, you know, in the first half of the first game. You know, they, they was trying to figure it out. They was trying to figure it out and right. trying to understand how they was going to approach the game, how they was going to play the game. And then game two, man, you saw them. They figured it out. They watched film. They understood what they needed to do. And they went out there, man, and they, they put it on itself. Even though the Celtics are, you know, without Brown and, and, and you know, and, and Tatum, Tatum is hurt. Man. Yeah, Tatum is hurt. So, you know, they 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 work. They they're not working on all cylinders, but man, you should look at Brooklyn. Man, they are very very scary, and they uh, and then you. Know, I'm gonna tell you something, man. Everybody could talk about Blake Griffin and say what they want to say about Blake Griffin. That man's playing. He's playing basketball the right way. He's doing what he's supposed to do on the offensive end and defensive end. He's not worried about scoring. He's just worried about playing basketball and doing the right thing. So I commend him. Now you you were from an era where. You know, you played the can hand you were dealt. You played on the team you were on and with the teammates you had. Uh, how do you feel? We brought up Kyrie, and that's a team where, you know, he and Durant teamed up, and then they they talked with Harden and got Harden to decide that he wants to force his way there. We're in the era of the players building these super teams themselves. How do you feel about that as, as an older guy that it wasn't that wasn't happening when you played? A tribute to Oscar Robinson, you know he 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 made this happen for all of us, and uh, you know these guys are friends, you know free agency, you know and and, and trading to where you you want to go to, and you know we we a, a, as competitors we didn't want to go play with somebody we wanted to beat them, right? You know we wanted to beat them in the playoffs. That's the way, but that's the way we was brought up, you know. It wasn't no AAU back in the day. It was all, you know, going to camps, playing against each other in camps. Right. You know, the best playing against the best in camps. You go to the NBA uh, college, you, you go to different colleges, you play the best in college, you know, and against the best. So that's, that's the way uh, we, we was brought up. And, and we always wanted to play against each other. We didn't want to be on the same team as each other. So um, i tell you this, man, it, 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 it's, it's good for them because they grew up playing with one another in AAU and, you know, playing on the same team, playing, uh, 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 teaming up on the same team. So that's the way it, that's the way it is now. The last thing, uh, we got about a minute for your answer. Trey Young, you saw what he did in the garden, uh, hitting the game winner, going at it with the crowd. You had some real, you know, <laughs> yeah. Testy yes, playoff moments in the garden. Yeah, with yes. Miami. Reggie love Miller it. did, like? the garden, Spike, yeah, the fans. Yeah. What is that? What is it like playing there in the playoffs at the garden? The best. The best atmosphere ever. You wow. know, you're playing against in the Mecca. That's the Mecca. They call it the Mecca. The media Mecca, the basketball Mecca, even though I say Chicago is the basketball Mecca. But <laughs> they say that's the that's the basketball Mecca. But you know, they they out there, man, the fans, they they into you. They they love to hate you, you know, but they give you your props. They let you uh uh, uh they get into you, and I love it. I just love the fans, man, because either they're gonna get you out of your game, or they're gonna make you take your game to another level. They made Trey Young's game go to another level, and they're gonna be doing it again tonight. It's not gonna right. stop. You gonna you gonna you gonna have to do it every time you step in that arena, and that's the way it is. 
and I love his approach, and I love how he's uh, confident he is about him, and I love his teammates being confident in him. So, yeah, the Knicks um, got some to reckon with, and the fans do too, but I love it. Man, that's our man, I never heard Tim. anybody break it down like that, Tim. Nah, that, that was, was great. Good. Seriously, that was good, really good. Man. That was yep, good. Well, so, look, great stuff, Tim. And enjoy watching your son, man. I know that's that's real pride right there, watching your man, son play in the NBA like, like you did. That's got to be great. I'm like a joke. I'm like a joke. My, my face is smiling all the time from here to <laughs> year, and I'm, I'm having so much fun. And it seems like I'm out there playing, man. I, I'm sweating. I'm I'm moving around, and um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pointing stuff out. So, yeah, man, it, it, I love it. I, I'm enjoying but the, it. All, but the only difference I'm, is they pay a lot more money now ooh, than they did what you ooh, made. Oh, <laughs> but he, I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was with Ricky Pierce, and we were saying the same thing. I, 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 our, 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 our moms had us too early. <laughs> no, no doubt. No doubt. All right, yep. Tim. Thanks, brother. We appreciate it. Thank you. Y'all take care. Y'all be safe. 